them for this body. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Christelle. And yes, the one thing we all love to hate is quickly approaching us. Exam season, where schools judge how intelligent we are by our ability to remember facts that we automatically forget after the exam's over and never use again for the rest of our lives. As someone who has survived their high school and university education, kind of, who better to give you advice than me? Probably anyone. Well, at least you've got Google to help you study. And we all know that the internet has all of the right answers and is completely trustworthy, so you'll be right. In today's crash course, I'm going to be teaching you how to survive exams. But well, firstly, you don't. Enough of that nonsense. I'm confident that by following this course and these simple steps, I will be able to get you to pass with at least a C minus. Maybe. But that could be a stretch. Firstly, make sure you remove any distractions. Alright, maths, let's go. Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Bebo, Tiffany Edigio is one of her 16 best friends? Oh, forget this, I don't need maps. <laughs> Wait, I need maps to pause. I'm sorry maps, I didn't mean to throw you like that. Let's do some science, like bio, I have a body, I can definitely do this. A psychological neuroplasticity. Psychological neuroplasticity, 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 neuroplasticity. Okay, like they're not, they're not gonna ask that. They definitely, we did this like once. This won't be in the test. This definitely will not be in the test. Can't be in the test. No, I remember Ashley saying this was not going to be in the test. I doubt this is going to be in the test. Start studying weeks before your exams actually start. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. But really, that is a very good idea. No, I've literally done nothing. What are you up to? Yeah, I'm on about page two. Oh, I've just highlighted the entire textbook. I mean, at least it looks pretty. I'm like, I asked Mrs. Mott when I'd ever need algebra in life, and she told me to build a bridge. Like, what the heck? I am not about to be building bridges anytime soon. YOLO, we still look tomorrow morning. We can study then, babes. Okay, bye. Mm, why hasn't he texted me back? I bet he's fucking Sarah. She's such a slut. Oh, she's so hot, though. Am I fat? Another one of Christelle's top tips is to stay active by exercising daily and eating healthy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fuck, I forgot my pen. I made such a sexy teacher. Does anyone even know what trigonometry is? Like, I don't even know what it means. I can't believe I haven't done anything all semester. Next semester, I'm going to every single one of my classes. I'm gonna be the perfect student. Oh, it's so boring. Okay, keep it together. You got this. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, I've done enough. I need a break. I need something to eat. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. Maybe I should just become a model. Nah. Just remember, education is important. Mom, what's for dinner? The night before an exam, do not try to do an all-nighter and cram 12 weeks of the semester into your brain. All this will happen. Why isn't any of this getting in my head? that you've wasted five minutes of your life procrastinating and 
watching this completely useless video, get up your butt and go and do some real study. Read a book or something. Just do it. Now that we're finishing up, just remember that the grades you're going to get in this exam are going to affect you for the rest of your life. Oh no, that can't be it. Um, no, I mean, uh, as long as you try your hardest, it doesn't matter. How bad can it be working McDonald's for the rest of your life?